Hello, and welcome to this video introduction of the 2019 Permit Technician Checklists. In the previous video, you learned about how to access the checklists and the types of residential alteration projects they serve. In this video, we'll look at a sample checklist to see how it's organized. Then we'll walk through a permit intake scenario so you can see the checklist in action. In general, each checklist has four pages. Each page serves a distinct purpose, and this four-page organization is used across your set of checklists for ease of quick reference. Page one of the checklist will always focus on a high-level summary of the essentials. The essentials page is always organized into three parts. These parts will help you to answer three critical questions quickly. Number one, does the scope of the permit application trigger the energy code? Number two, if so, does it meet energy code requirements under the simplest compliance pathway, the prescriptive approach? Number three, is the project submitting the correct energy compliance forms? Note that sometimes further energy code details are provided in footnotes. You'll find the full list of footnote text on page 3. This makes pages 1 and 3 easier to lay side by side when using a printout. Page 2 offers a list of FAQs, or Frequently Asked Questions. Topics here cover common project scenarios or typical questions from permit applicants. If you are asked questions like these, consider giving a copy of this checklist to the applicant for further reference. Page 3 provides a full list of footnotes cited in the Energy Code tables on page 1. Again, these are located on page 3 to allow for side-by-side -side display with page 1 in double-sided printouts. Page 4, the final page of the checklist, provides a list of direct links to a variety of energy code resources on the checklist topic. Websites listed are generally from the California Energy Commission or Energy Code ACE. Giving the applicant a printout of their own will also provide them with this list of websites for more information. Types of resources listed on page 4 include Cited sections of energy code Applicable resources on Energy Code ACE, such as fact sheets. Compliance forms. Your full set of checklists will have this four-page structure, with one exception. The checklist for simple remodels will have an extra page. The typical page one essentials content will take up two pages here, due to its larger scope of topics. Now that you've seen how these checklists are structured, Let's practice using them for quick reference during application intake. We'll stick with our water heating checklist and return to the high-level summary of this topic on page 1. A permit applicant is looking to replace her old water heater with a new one. This is the only change she is making in her home. We'll zoom in to look at part 1 of this page. Given what's shown, would this type of project trigger the energy code? Yes. According to the checklist, a water heater replacement would trigger the energy code. Installation of additional water heaters would as well. Repairs to an existing water heater would not trigger energy code. A high-level statement about when to use this checklist also supports this. The permit application indicates a change from an electric resistance storage tank water heater to an electric heat pump water heater. According to Part 2 on this checklist page, can this type of project use the prescriptive approach? Yes. According to the table, a project that replaces an electric resistance storage tank with an electric heat pump water heater can use the prescriptive approach. Be aware, though, that a footnote is also cited for this scenario in the table. That likely means some additional requirements apply. A quick consult of footnote C on page 3 shows more information. 
There are two types of compliant heat pump water heaters under the prescriptive approach, and neither can have its tank located outdoors. When you use your checklists, note that you won't need to read all footnotes, or even most of them. Just be sure to review any footnotes cited for the specific scenario you are evaluating for permit approval. When applicable, mandatory requirements can also appear in the checklist's essentials page. Let's say the homeowner selected a compliant heat pump water heater and the project meets all mandatory and prescriptive requirements on the page one summary. The final question to ask in evaluating the permit application is if all required energy compliance forms were submitted. Part three of the checklist page can help with this. Let's say the homeowner didn't submit any energy code forms. What's missing? The table in this part of the checklist lists required forms by project scenario. In this case, replacement of a water heater requires submission of compliance form CF1R Alt 05E. The electronic version of this checklist has a link enabled here to download the form. If you are working from a paper copy or plan to give a printout of this checklist to the permit applicant, Note that the full link text for the form is also shown on page 4. This page also offers other helpful resources for permit applicants, such as a fact sheet about water heating alterations, and direct links to view energy code sections applicable to the project. If the permit applicant asks any further questions about the project, such as what forms the building inspector will require, you may wish to consult the list of frequently asked questions on page 2. That's it. Remember, page 1 contains the most essential information for you to perform your permit approval. This is the page you'll spend most time consulting. Pages 2 through 4, the frequently asked questions, footnotes, and additional resource links pages, are offered for skimming purposes on an as-needed basis according to project scope. We hope you find the checklists and training video useful as you continue your work reviewing incoming permit applications. Should you have any further questions or training requests regarding the Energy Code, contact information is provided on screen. We look forward to hearing from you.